Did you know there is a pyramid in Mexico that can tell time? It was built and positioned in a way that aligns with the setting sun and creates a shadow effect that shows when the first day of spring and autumn occur. There is also a day in which the pyramid creates no shadow at all at noon. On this day, the zenith passage, the sun is directly over the pyramid at noon and indicates a time when farmers should start planting their fields. This pyramid, named El Castillo in Spanish, contains a temple at its top called the Temple of Kukulkan. Kukulkan is one of the Maya creator gods, usually depicted as part snake and part bird. Let's model how this man-made structure uses the natural phenomenon of the sun's position to measure time. If you like learning about astronomy, archaeoastronomy, geography, and Native American traditional knowledge, you can build the model yourself to demonstrate the effect. Instructions for making and using this model can be found in a link in the description box. Special thanks to the education staff at the Space Sciences Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley, for developing and sharing this resource. El Castillo is located on the Yucatan Peninsula in Chichen Itza, Mexico, at about 21 degrees north latitude, and was constructed between the 8th and 12th centuries AD. Chichen Itza means at the mouth of the well of the Itza, due to its position located between two sacred cenotes, or water wells. The temple sits atop a pyramid made of nine platforms. It's thought these nine platforms represent the nine levels in the underworld in Mayan cosmology. There are four staircases with 91 steps located on each side of the pyramid. When the steps on all four staircases are counted, along with the common top step, there are a total of 365 steps. This may symbolize the hob or solar year calendar. There are serpent Kukukan heads at the base of each staircase. Kukukan is one of the Maya creator gods usually depicted as part snake and part bird. Inside the temple, there are 18 panels that may represent the 18 months of the Sulkin or long count calendar. The orientation of the pyramid is offset 21 degrees from cardinal points. This means that the pyramid's central axis is aligned along the solar zenith passage sunset and the nadir passage sunrise. Ancient Mayan astronomers determined the alignment of the pyramid to astronomically and culturally significant days through unaided eye observations of the sun and stars and mathematical calculations. Because the Earth is tilted 23.5 degrees on its axis as it orbits around the sun, we experience varying day lengths and temperatures throughout the year. This is the reason for the seasons. The sun rises and sets at different points along the eastern and western horizons and travels at different angles in the sky at different times of the year. We can determine the seasons by tracking where along the horizon the sun rises and sets. The sun's position on the horizon is measured using azimuth. Azimuth is measured in a circle eastward starting from north. North equals zero or 360 degrees, east equals 90 degrees, South equals 180 degrees, west equals 270 degrees. The meridian is an imaginary line that runs from north to south through the zenith, straight overhead or top of the sky. The altitude of the sun on the meridian changes throughout the year. The sun's altitude on the meridian is measured upward from either the north or south point on the horizon, from zero degrees altitude on the horizon to 90 degrees altitude at the zenith, or directly overhead. Solstices and equinoxes are points in the Earth's orbit around the sun. These points are defined by the relative positions of the Earth's axis and the ecliptic, or the plane on which the Earth orbits the sun. Equinoxes occur twice a year, at approximately March 21st and September 21st. At the equinoxes, every place in the world receives roughly 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. At the summer solstice, around June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun rises in the Northeast and sets in the Northwest. It is the longest day of the year. At the winter solstice, around December 21st in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun rises in the Southeast and sets in the Southwest. It is the shortest day of the year. It is a common misconception that the sun is directly overhead every day at noon. This is false. The sun only reaches the zenith at tropical locations, that is, between 23.5 degrees north latitude and 23.5 degrees south latitude. Even at these locations, 
the sun only reaches the zenith twice a year, only once a year at 23.5 degrees north and south latitude. The sun never reaches the zenith at locations outside tropical latitudes. On the dome used in the model, the colored lines indicate the path of the sun across the sky at Chichen Itza on different days of the year. The black line is the meridian. The blue line is the path of the sun on the winter solstice around December 21st. The sun rises in the southeast at 115 degrees azimuth, crosses the meridian at 45 degrees altitude, and sets in the southwest at 245 degrees azimuth. The green line is the path of the sun on the equinoxes around March 21st for the spring or vernal equinox and September 21st for the fall or autumnal equinox. The sun rises due east at 90 degrees azimuth, crosses the meridian at 69 degrees altitude, and sets due west at 270 degrees azimuth. The red line is the path of the sun on the summer solstice, around June 21st. The sun rises in the northeast at 65 degrees azimuth, crosses the meridian at 87 degrees altitude, and sets in the northwest at 295 degrees azimuth. The dotted line is the path of the sun on zenith passage days around May 21st and July 19th at Chichen Itza. The sun rises in the northeast at 69 degrees azimuth, crosses the meridian at 90 degrees altitude, and sets in the northwest at 291 degrees azimuth. As the sun sets on the equinoxes at Chichen Itza, the northwestern corner of the pyramid platform casts a shadow on the side of the northern staircase. As the sun gets lower in the sky, the shadow creeps closer to the stairs, creating a serpent of light that snakes its way down the side of the staircase. The carved serpent head at the base of the stairway is illuminated before the sun's light disappears. At this moment, the earthly man-made pyramid becomes sacred. According to some Maya elders, the seven lighted and six dark triangles formed on the staircase on the equinox represent the seven days and nights of creation. The sum of these lighted and dark triangles represents the 13 levels of heaven in the Maya concept of the world. Similarly, the nine platforms of the temple represent the nine levels of the underworld. For the Maya, the March equinox is an important marker of the transition time between the wet season and the dry season. The March equinox indicates the time to observe a new beginning in the agricultural cycle it is a signal to farmers to start clearing their fields in preparation for planting corn. Farmers will slash and burn the land to provide ash that nourishes the soil. When the rains come, these fires are extinguished. The first zenith passage of the sun, around May 21st at Chichen Itza, is a signal to start planting. And that's how a pyramid can tell time. Please visit the links in the description box to visit our website for more information and activities on the Maya, to watch a video of the descent of Kuku Khan at Chichen Itza, to explore pyramids around the world with our Google Earth tour, and for the instructions for making and using the model shown in this presentation.